It's a wonderful world of entertainment this weekend from London Weekend Television. At 7.30, it's time for more hilarious classroom capers in another edition of Mind Your Foreigners. <laughs> your last homework was so badly done, I'm going to give you all lines. <laughs> <laughs> lines? How many? One each. That'll get us through the programme nicely. Now, who's first? <laughs> God bless me, your world, God bless me, blow me, out, bang this, God bless me. <laughs> no, Abdul, it is not true that our children commit ceremonial Harry Corbett. <laughs> oh, uh, no, no, sorry, that's the Japanese one's joke. Ha, ha, hang on. Um. <laughs> Here we are. <clears throat> no milk today and a carton of yoghurt, please. <laughs> oh, crikey. If I've got this note here now, you know what I've done. No. That's right. I've left my milkman the note which says, I don't understand how he copes with all those wives. <laughs> then at eight o'clock, skip <laughs> five <head. laughs> So, this guy was shot, stabbed, strangled, drowned, stabbed again, only more creatively. <laughs> and poked a bit with a stick. Not much to go on, Steve. Lim Ho, have you got a bullet in there? No, Steve. I always stand like this. <laughs> Dano, any news from Duke yet? He should be here any speech now, Steve. <laughs> I do. Sorry I'm late, Steve. I got held up in Embami. <laughs> Check. Well, men, I think this is a matter of life or death. I think we'd better move back. I see. Then, more gripping excitement for the starship Economize. It's no good! It's no good, Captain! The ship won't take any more. The level is already critical. If we go on like this, we're all doomed. <laughs> he's, he's right, Captain. Look! <laughs> Reduce overacting to 5,000 burdens. Oh, that's better. Now, let's look at the screen. <laughs> look, a planet. Monitor for life forms. <laughs> Negative, Captain. Some of the programmes coming your way from London Weekend Television. Well, the continuity announcers this week are by the Catford and District Amateur Photographic Society. But right now, the time is just coming up to, which means it's time once again to catch up with the events at end of part one. <laughs> Cold chips, mushy peas, several oil edit. Cold chips, mushy peas, several oil edit. Squid. Cold chips, mushy peas, several oil edit. Squid and gherkin. Cold chips, mushy peas, several oil edit. Squid, gherkin and the. The right honourable Mrs. Margaret Thatcher. Excuse me. Yes. Did you say Margaret Thatcher? I don't think so, did I? Hang on. Cold. Cut chips, cut chips, cut your peas, cut your peas, peas, several oil, cut your peas, peas, several oil, cut your peas, peas, several oil, it's squid, cut your peas, peas, several oil, it's squid, good, in, cut your peas, peas, several oil, it's squid, Oh, yeah, Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> yeah. That's a 36p then, please. No, I don't want it. 
I thought this was your order. Excuse me, I ordered the Margaret Thatcher. Oh, well, that's um, 46p, please, lady. Well, but you just said 36p. American Express, madam? <laughs> oh, that should do nicely. <laughs> <laughs> really Margaret Thatcher in there, is it? I mean, she's a politician. You told me that Margaret Thatcher was a new form of deep-sea fish, not dissimilar to Gurnet. Oh. It was all a pack of lies, wasn't it? Well, well, well she's nothing but a high-ranking representative of the right-wing democratic proletariat. Uh, well, I know. Yeah. I'll bet she isn't even a fish, either. Well, only if you consider the facts, madam. I mean, those aside, she's quite amazingly piscatorial. <laughs> I don't care. I wanted something for my Charlemagne supper. Well, what about all those lovely, yellow, crispy, crackly bits, I'm eh? not interested in her hairstyle. <laughs> Excuse me, her husband can't eat Margaret Thatcher, can he? Well, of course he can't eat her. Then what use is she? Well, she isn't any use, is she? She's an MP. <laughs> <laughs> P, please. Oh, all right. Uh, do you want it to take away? No, thanks. Oh, well, that's four and a half P V A T then. <laughs> right. And don't you try and fiddle me again. Right. Thank you, madam, and good day. <laughs> oh, thanks, Chuck. Give them half a chance and they get away with murder. <laughs> Thank you, madam. <laughs> You're new, aren't you? I haven't seen your own funny name street before. <laughs> no, I've just moved in. Molesby's the name. Jack Molesby. Yes, I am well aware of my name, madam. Oh, my name is Vera Straight Man. Me and my husband, Norman, have just taken over at number 40. Yeah, well, I think you'd better take your order and leave before I lose me temper. Okay. 49p, please. Oh, yes, thank you. Hang on! <laughs> lemon, lemon, lemon! <laughs> this must be my lucky day. <laughs> They gave me the elbow this morning. Norman, I've told you, plastic surgeons aren't supposed to take tips. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just didn't get on with the other doctors, that's all. Well, I don't know how we're going to manage. Honestly, I don't. You know how poor we are, don't you? Yes, dear. I know. We're so poor, we have to buy baked beans by the slice. We're so poor, we can't afford malnutrition. We're so poor, in the winter we have to warm our hands round each other's chew. Blame. We're so poor, we got a council improvement grant to get our home demolished. <laughs> Another thing, I don't like this area very much. There's some very funny... Oh, uh, hello, Mr. S. <laughs> it's been nice, Mrs. Oh, I am sorry. Mrs. Well, forgive me for barging in just now, but I wondered if you could lend me a cup of inventory investment cycles. There's a lot. Cup of what? <laughs> inventory investment cycles. Fluctuations in economic activity caused by variance in raw material stock. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, well, mushy peas will have to do. <laughs> How's our Norman, then? Oh, not so bad. Well, I'm not one to talk, as you well know. Live and let live. That's my cliché. But, you know I was telling you about old Frobisher. Consolidated Frobishins married with two intangible assets. <laughs> well, I only found out the other day Carrying on flat yield flexibility computing on the quiet. 
No. Not to mention Miss Simpkins. Miss Simpkins? Oh, I never noticed what sex he was, but... <laughs> I never thought I'd live to see the day a stockbroker with an Anglo-Cyprian guilt conglomerate double the intervalue liability quotient of his own joint audit breakdown precepts. But oh, surely... there you are, Mr. S. I was just saying, what lovely weather for the time I'm of day. I'm sorry about the mushy peas. I'm afraid we're out. Oh, well, never mind. I'll call again when you get back. Bye. <laughs> oh, when that neighbour gets on my nerves. I wouldn't mind, but he lives in Cardiff. <laughs> <laughs> What was that? That was Mr. Sprout of Hackney. He hasn't had his dinner yet. I don't know. It's all go. I still think that idea of getting a lodger is the only solution. It would certainly help us out for the time being. Yes. Mr. Sprout of Hackney. Dinner. Come on. Come on, Mr. Sprout of Hackney. <laughs> Here, look at this. <laughs> Wanted, dead or alive, trainee for executive management post. Apply J and J Interview Sketches Limited, Swio. S W ten. You think I'll try for that? You'd better change into a suit. Okay. Well, which one should I wear? The silver one with the glittery sequined lame lapels? Or the brown tweed? The tweed, of course. You don't want to look conspicuous. Look at all the... This could be the break we've been waiting for. How do you know? 